Okay, so I have a loop and I want to add that to my project. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, loops are usually just short one to four bar patterns that can repeat indefinitely. Drums and percussion loops are the most common, but really anything can be turned into a loop. So now we're going to go find the percussion loops we downloaded that are included with this course. So here we are in our downloads folder. There are the audio hacker percussion loops. I'm going to extract that so that I can get to the wave files inside. Extract. And here we go. So these are the audio hacker percussion loops. I can see it's just a folder. I'm going to drag this over to my documents. So now if I look in my documents folder, we have the audio hacker drum samples from before and now the audio hacker percussion loops. Now let's head back to Reaper. Now in Reaper, we're going to open up the Media Explorer. And the shortcut for that is Control Alt X on a PC or Command Alt X on a Mac. Now the Media Explorer lets us audition audio before we import it into our project. So it's a really useful tool. Now we're going to navigate to My Documents. And we see here everything that's in my documents folder. We see our drum samples from before, but we also see our audio hacker percussion loops. So let's open that by double clicking. And we've got two different loops here. We've got a shaker and a maraca. So let's just take a listen to the shaker. Just hit play. Okay, sounds like a shaker. And uh, next thing we need to do is hear how that's going to sound in our song. So if I go here to the beginning of the song, right at the intro, and I start that, you should be able to audition the shaker on top of that. Let's take a listen. It doesn't sound right. Now, chances are it's not the right tempo, but luckily, there's a great feature here called Tempo Match. So we could turn that on. And the other thing we might want to do is check this box here, Start on Bar. There we go. That means that the loop will start on beat one of a bar. So let's try this one more time. That sounds better. So you could hear how it waited until beat one of the bar. Even though I hit play, it waited until beat one before actually playing the loop. And the great thing here too is that this repeat button is on down here. So we are hearing the loop play throughout the song. If this wasn't on and we tried this again, it'll wait, it'll play through the loop. Well, that's it. So we want to make sure that repeat is on, start on bar is on, and tempo match is on. And that is going to make sure that any loops we try out with our song should match it. So how do we get the shaker loop into our project? Well, it's actually pretty easy. All we need to do is drag and drop. So I'm going to grab the AH shaker track. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to actually drop it below all the tracks that are here. I'll start it at the intro and let go and boom. It actually makes a new track with the name of the audio file. Now, I don't like the AH shaker. I just want it to be called shaker. So I can rename that. Now we hear it in the session. Okay, so how do we make it loop? throughout the whole thing. I'll move the Media Explorer out of the way. All we need to do is on the right hand side, click and drag. I'm going to drag it right here to the end of the drums. Let's actually hear it playing with the drums. The drums are loud. I'm going to turn them down a little bit. But yeah, the shaker is in time. Shaker in time here. I'm just randomly. Nice. So now that's how you get a loop into your project. Let's actually try importing that other loop too. Let's hear what it sounds like first. We'll listen to it on its own. 
We've got tempo match on, start on bar and loop. So let's hear what this sounds like. We just hit play here. Okay, so let's hear what that sounds like with the project. I'll just start at uh, verse two. What made this pain pass away? That could be good. If I need to adjust the volume, I can bring down the same the level of what we're auditioning with this volume control here, or bring it up. Okay, so let's bring that into our project, which we just click and drag, and I'm going to bring it in, start at the beginning again, making sure to be underneath the other tracks, so it makes a new one for us. And this is really quite a name for a track. I'm just going to call this Maraca. So I just click in there, retype. That doesn't change the name of the audio file, but it changes the name of the track, so it makes more sense to me. So we can close our Media Explorer now and pull the right side out, right to the end of the song. Take a listen at the end here with the drums. Maraca's loud, I'll bring it down. And that's how to add loops to your Reaper project.